Good morning. It's Sharon Tomlinson here, and I have a little project for this morning. Remember the little box that I showed on my blog for Carolyn's birthday? I thought I would show you how we make that. And right off the bat, I want to tell you that this is not my creation, and I have been doing it for several years, and so I don't remember who came up with this, or maybe we don't know. But what you need is a ruler, a pencil, maybe an exacto or scissors. And the bottom of the box is, you need an exact square of paper. The top, I used 8.5 by 11, and I trimmed off the end so that my, my uh, measurement here is 8.5 and 8.5. That's the top of the box. The bottom of the box is exactly a quarter of an inch smaller square. So you see the bottom is smaller. And we're going to work on the top. So the first thing you do is <coughs> draw a line from corner to corner. And the more exact and perfect you can get this line, the more successful your little box is going to be. And by the way, of course, this is on the wrong side of the box, the inside of the box. I'm going to do it kind of dark, hoping that you can see it. Okay. Now, you start folding, and this is just simply a folding process. So you take a point, and you put it exactly on that crop on that uh, where the two lines cross and you if you have a bone folder well that would be handy I use my fingernail pretty much and I'm going to go through this pretty quick you go around and you make that fold all the way around and the next fold is to take the point and go up to this crease line. You see, you don't have it marked, but it's the crease. And so you put the point on the crease and make that fold. And then do that all the way around. Do this kind of fast. These are really cute little gift boxes. And, uh, pretty easy to make. They seem kind of complicated when you look at them or start working on it. Oh, I didn't get that dirty. I'm going to remove that. Now there's one more fold. And I don't know if you can see. You take the point and you take it to that first fold. And what's happening is you're just kind of making a grid here on the box. Okay. Now, all of these folds are going to fold in except this last one. It's, it's going to fold back out this way. And you can go ahead and do that now if you want to. Give it a little extra crease. Now, the next thing you do is, you see, I'm going to mark with my pencil so you can see, but you see this made a square, which is the box top. So, Mark the point so you can see it. Okay. And then with a ruler or scissors, you're going to cut from here to there, from here to there, from here to there, and here to there. So just on opposites, you're going to cut in. You're not going to cut from all four sides. You're just going to cut from the two. Okay. So I'm going to lay my ruler here where I can see that. And I'm going to cut into the point like that, okay? So I have this going on. All right, here's one that I've already cut. So now I'm going to show you the fold. The um, one that has the extra flaps, you're going to fold in like this and like that, okay? Make a good hard crease. Fold it like that, in and in, and make a good hard crease, okay? 
Now then, open those up. You see the little box happening? Then you take this in, hold it together, and push that in there. And push that in there. Oops. That didn't get that crease. Good. So, there you have a sweet little box top. Now, what I like to do, you can take a little uh, spot of um, glue stick under the flap and glue that those two flaps down. And then I like to, to glue some sort of little greeting right there, uh, a butterfly, just anything. Now then, here's the top of the box. And let me just tell you about the top. I printed this. Um, on uh, Epson paper. So this is a nice heavy stock, heavy box. Um, the way I, I'm going to open this back up so you can see that the square, first thing I'm going to show you that the measurement across from corner to corner of this is like four inches. And I planned it so that there would be a little white border around here. So I went into Photoshop with my perfectly square art image and I rotated it 45 degrees, okay, so that it's not, in other words, this one, I didn't remember to rotate it and so it ended up, it would not have worked, okay. So I know you're all smart with Photoshop as I'm not. But I did manage to figure out how to get this on here, so I know you can too. And there you have a cute little box.